Hi, Leap Group viewers. Greg Dorsey here. It's uh, Monday, April 5th. Uh, well, the economic data continues to uh, point to growth, albeit sluggish growth. Uh, today we had a positive print on uh, service sector activity in the ISM's non-manufacturing index uh, and a better than expected reading on pending home sales. Now, these numbers were good, but really nothing to write home about. Uh, investors also cheered uh, Friday's unemployment report, which we, uh, in which we did get a, a positive print on uh, uh, the job rolls, payrolls. Uh, but here again, you've got uh, some things to question. Uh, if you factor out the hiring of temporary uh, workers for census collecting, data collecting, and the uh, government's birth death model, which is really nothing more than a wild guess, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that, on the government's uh, guess of, of jobs being created through new businesses, uh, well, in fact, those two in, and uh, jobs were actually shed last month, not added. Uh, it's hard to say... Uh, from the action in, in bonds and commodities, uh, if those markets are anticipating accelerating growth or surging inflation. Uh, bonds fell through support today with the key 10-year uh, Treasury breaching uh, the 4% level for the first time since last October, uh, before settling slightly below that level. Uh, the 30-year bond closed at 485, also uh, up pretty strongly here in the last couple of weeks and, and uh, well above where it was a year ago. Uh, crude oil. Uh, punched through the $85 barrel mark, closing at 86.70. Most likely, we'll tack on a, a few more uh, gains before hitting resistance above $88 a barrel. Uh, and after that, it wouldn't be a stretch to see a triple-digit handle again on black gold. Uh, most industrial commodities were also on the move today. Copper, for instance, closed above 363 a pound, a level we haven't seen for nearly two years. Silver is back above $18 an ounce, and platinum at more than $1,700 an ounce. Is at a 20-month high. Now, stock investors, uh, they like what they saw. Uh, advancing issues topped decliners by a better than two-to-one margin, uh, as the averages gained anywhere from 0.4% on the Dow to 2% on the Russell 2000 index of small cap stocks. Uh, the Dow industrials are closing in on the 11,000 mark, and that's uh, a nice round number that people like to focus on. Uh, the transports, however, have been trading sideways uh, since uh, hitting a high last month. And the uh, utilities, uh, well, they topped out back in December, and they're still some 5% below uh, that mark, uh, and trailing the industrials by more than 10 percentage points in the last six months. Uh, but the positives of the strong rel relative performance of small caps uh, outweighs the negative divergence between the uh, Dow averages. So while the rally is getting overextended, it doesn't look like it's ready to run its course just yet. That's all for now. That's plenty enough for, for one day anyway, uh, and we'll hopefully we'll see you again soon.